I want to try something fun today. I'm going to try and follow one of my own tutorials. We're going to be making like that diamond top and I'm really excited to do it in like some different colors. I am trying to go scrap free, which means using all of my yarn before I buy new yarn. Every project I make, I'd be very careful. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the best with understanding like how much is 100 yards or 50 grams of yarn. So I just eyeball it and hope for the best. So I'll show you, I'll show you my scraps. We're making the top in black and white this time. This is how much white I have, right? Like white on its own. And then this is how much pink I have. I really can't tell how much this is at all. Like, like I have no idea, I couldn't tell you. Okay, we're on to the fun part. Let's pull up the tutorial. I'm, I'm so excited. Like I never really get to watch these back. After you spend hours and hours and hours editing and listening to your voice, you just post it. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, crochet, crochet tutorials are kind of boring. But that, that, that's a story for another time. Let's go ahead and watch it. Oh, this is cute. Diamond crochet top. Okay. The skills you need to make this top, double crochet, I always wonder if this point of the video, like, people like it. Because when I watch a tutorial, I don't really care what hook or yarn you use. I'm going to use what I want to use. Let's just get right into it. But this, this does matter. It is important. I'm just really impatient. 5.5 millimeter hook, yarn, weight. I'm not... Alright. Uh, just... Okay. For 10 grams or more. And now you're top. See by here, I'm already not listening. Let's just get started with 5.5. Me? I'm not using a 5.5. Like it works? There's nothing wrong with 5.5. Go watch my how to crochet faster video if you want to know why I'm saying this. I already decided that I'm not even gonna listen to myself. So let's hope, <laughs> let's hope that this doesn't become a problem. Why am I using a 5.5? There's, there's a reason, I don't remember, but I'm not doing that. Guys, let me show you. Anyways, um, this hook is so old and broken. Like, look, whenever I crochet, look, 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 look. Whenever I crochet, that happens. Every time I crochet, I'm crocheting like this. Sorry, that's so funny to me, but I love this hook. Literally used to get these from Walmart and I can't find them anymore. So like I hold on to this with my life and I lose it like every three months, but I know it's never like lost. It's more like misplaced. But yeah, look, look at this hook. Like it's, this is it's not supposed to come off this easily. After I do like four stitches, it's falling off. Regardless, I'm still using this hook. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's continue. Back to the tutorial. Over. So I made the strap integrated into the pattern. That's really smart. I, I appreciate that I did that for myself. The girl always starts with single crochet and always ends with double crochet. Single crochet is in. Girl, I know what a single crochet is. Let's go. First step was to do 110 chains. I'm gonna do 120. In the video, I give the measurements of what it should be. So even though I'm using like a smaller hook, I can use my tape measure, but I can, because the instructions are in the video. So if I messed up, I also gave myself a way to fix it. I forgot to count my chains, give me a second. <laughs> I've been making hats for so long, I never have to make a long chain. Like all of my projects start with chain four and slip stitch. Like. So I very rarely ever have to count. I haven't done this in a minute. And I just forgot how much I counted again. Let me go one more time. You, you see the hook falling off? Yeah. What for? Eight, nine, nine, hundred. Two, three, four, five. So I'm at 120, so I did an extra 10 chains. So then we're doing the up and down stitch. I think that's what it's called, but it's basically when you alternate between single crochet and double crochet. Skip the first two chains is what I said. I don't even know if I'm going to wear this, but I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. I believe I said 38, 38 of these stitches, but I'm going to go ahead and do 42. It's gonna be pretty hard to mess this one up. Oh, I gotta count these. <laughs> Asian chain in the first row are always the worst. So literally any pattern. I'll come back when I'm at the end of row one. So I definitely think I was wrong because this is 48 stitches and it's already like just where I would want it to be. The hook definitely made a difference. 
but it's okay because we can fix it it's gonna be pretty hard to mess this one up so this is this is 48 stitches i'm just gonna do 50 just so we have a round number i forgot i have to do the switching of the colors where's my white so i got my white and you see how i have like this ball and this ball i always work with the the bigger ball first if i use this and i finish like i don't know like three or five rows with it i know that this cannot bring me to three or five rows so it gives a great perspective if i carry the yarn over i'm wasting a lot of yarn that i might not have so i think i'm gonna have to cut dang it okay it's gonna be pretty hard to mess this one up okay let me see how many rows i need to do hold on yeah 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 look at the how many so rows just like we did before eight rows by 28 rows so 28. remember so i said 38 by 28 got it single crochet then double crochet and i really love an easy to remember pattern so i got to about here and i'm going to cut the pink now and so this project can work up really quick let's see it's almost three o'clock it's 253 i'd love to see how much i can get done but i got a lot of stuff to do so i don't know if i'm finishing this today we'll see how far i get it but like I said, it's, this, it's the same pattern. Y'all know what to do. For now, I'm out of here. It's now 326. Two, four, six. I'm on row eight out of 28. I kind of, ooh, this, this was supposed to be something else. I can't tell you what it is yet. I'll tell you what it is later because y'all might get mad at me. <laughs> but I'll check back in in a bit. I'll check back in in a bit. I'm wondering if, not like I did the wrong thing. It's gonna be pretty hard to mess this one up. Okay. But this is definitely taking a lot longer because I didn't listen to the tutorial. I think I'm going to have to do 40 rows, 20 more to go. Huh. If I listened and used the hook, I'd only have eight more rows to go. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I just wanna give an update and a time check. So it is, 556. It's 5.56. And this is how much I have left of the white ball I started with. And this is how much I have left of the pink ball. So the pink ball is almost done. I'm confident. I have enough yarn for sure. Sorry, I forgot about y'all. So it is 8.14. I've done a lot of stuff. I have not been working on this like back to back to back. The project didn't take that long. I also might not be done. Let me just go get it. I can I can actually see why I stopped at 28 rows because if we look at it technically like if I get a string here and pull it like this still fits and I went a little bit longer right now I'm at row 32 28 was actually fine but I do want to end it off on pink so the straps are the same color this is how I follow tutorials at this point when I get to where I'm satisfied, I do whatever I want. Over here in this corner, I'm just gonna make a chain, just as long as this one, and then the top will be basically done. You just need to make a chain for the neck. I'm pretty sure, I think so. I'll double check the tutorial to make sure that it's at least similar, but I'm pretty sure that's all you have to do. I think that's what happened in the design layout. I do another row of pink, and then single crochet my way down, and then do the strap like that that means we're going to have this is 32 four 34 rows but one of them is single crochet I just finished the single crochet row into 70 chains for the other strap okay i just finished 70 let's see if they're the same yeah like this is shorter maybe my math's wrong i'm gonna keep on going until they're the same length maybe my math was wrong it's late and i'm tired okay they're the same length now snip it's not a big project because there's no ends to it in. Like it's just done. How how often does that happen that you can have a project fresh off the hook? I didn't even check to see if it fits right. It's gonna be pretty hard to mess this one up. Yeah, but it's gonna have to be fine because it's too late for me to try and care. So. What I am going to do is I am going to pull up the video just to get an idea of how many chains I did for the neck. The next strap is very simple. You just want to go ahead and make a chain anywhere from 100 to 150 chains. 100 to 150. 100. <laughs> Done. One. Sweet. You just pick a side that's the top and put the hook in. 
I'm not even trying to boast, but this is actually really easy to make. Clearly you could finish it in one day because I, I started, I think, I started in the evening and it's still the evening. It's only 8.45. I don't want to put this on my body right now, but it is done. You see the two straps at the top, the two straps at the side. Yeah, but basically this was really fun. Watching that the tutorial was, was so sweet and I actually enjoyed watching this. Next, I'm actually going to make my shell top. I really love that design. I think it's really, really flattering. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a shell top. I don't know when, but that's gonna be my next project. I also really liked um, showing you guys this video, just so you know, like when you're following a crochet tutorial, even if it's mine, like you don't have to take it so literally, you don't have to do everything step by step if you don't want to. I'm just saying, be prepared like if you don't listen, for it not to turn out right like just be prepared for that but thank you so much for watching if you have any questions please leave them down below and i'll see you in the next one bye it's gonna be pretty hard to mess this one up okay